So, update on the gloves saga. Uh, there's tan gloves that I was all excited about. Have a hole in it. It's got a hole in it. That happened like three weeks ago. I don't even know how that happened. That broke my heart, though. I was so excited that these were going to be the ones. They're not. Don't buy those. So, these are the new ones I'm on. These are about three weeks old. They actually have leather fingers and palms and all that good stuff as you can see they're holding up so far so good I don't know mechanics gloves I need I need y'all to get y'all's act together and uh, if somebody has any suggestions on securement gloves that don't reduce dexterity you would be a godsend let me know what gloves work for you because which actually those are actually working out pretty good uh, but at $30 a pop once a month, I don't know if I really care for that, that number or not, to be honest with you. So, we'll see how these go. Hopefully by my next video, they'll still be working good. Did I start it? Yeah, I started. I mean, Gary doing my reset. Gonna head into the Chicago tonight. Um, take a little break from the trucking world. I'll leave out tomorrow morning pretty early to head down to North Carolina. I picked up a, uh, who's this person creeping through the parking lot? I see, take a picture next time. Anyway, I picked up a load of shingles from Gaff yesterday. Got the hit. What are they doing? Headed to North, Sanford, North Carolina tomorrow. How many miles is it? It is... Come on, co-pilot, wake up. <laughs> Calculating. 770 miles. So I'll probably drive 600-ish miles tomorrow. Uh, and I'll wake up early Monday. I don't have to be there until 8 o'clock Eastern time. So that's, that's plenty of time to make it on time. Um, I've only got... 14 hours left on my uh, 34 hour reset, so, which I'm not leaving at 1 o'clock, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. No, sir. Probably leave around 5 or 6. 7 or 8, somewhere up in there. Um, so, let's do this truck tour. We're on the passenger side right now to get these access doors to open. This little lever right here, pull on it, pops open. So in here, I've got my edge protection. These are usually used for uh, aluminum products, like aluminum coils and stuff. There's my strap winder. My uh, trainer gave that to me. More edge protection, toolkit, that's a bunch of personal tools. That is a rug I bought from Walmart for 10 bucks that I just haven't gotten rid of yet. In this cabinet right here, this box is a little tricky. We have got steel paper. Look at that. Some scrap tarps. And then my two uh, lumber tarps. That's uh, pretty much all we can fit in there. Ooh, got it shut again. There's my load of shingles I picked up yesterday. Right, same thing on the driver's side. Got a little knob you can pull. Pops open this access door. Here, got my ice scraper, fire extinguisher triangles, kingpin lock, bunch of dirty rags. Um, this is a blow nozzle I've got hooked to this air hose which has 
Glad hand adapter. I use that for cleaning the inside of the truck. Got uh, Glad had an adapter at Love's for ten dollars. Got that little blow nozzle. It was a kit at Lowe's for I think it was seven dollars, and then the hose was fifteen or twenty bucks, fifty foot long. It works though. And there's our inverter. Fun fact. You cannot have this covered if you get a DOT inspection. Uh, that's a violation if it's not clearly accessible, which I think it is now. So we're good. Oh, I hate opening this thing sometimes. Top's fine. The bottom is a pain. Open. There we go. Got my three steel traps, steel, steel traps, steel tarps, some extra bungees up under that, so some rubber pads, tin coal racks, some metal edge protecting for chains and stuff. Man, that thing's a pain to close. All right, over here, that's where all my straps sit. I carry 27 straps. This area right here usually stays open for the off chance I get a relay that turns into a load and I end up with 97 straps. Happened yesterday. No, two days ago. The middle one, where all my chains and uh, ratchet binders are. I think I got 15 chains in there. 15 ratchet binders as well. And this one over here, I've got all my bungees, my ratchet bar, cheetah bar, and the rest of my ratchet binders. Um, get you some of this. PB Blaster. PB Blaster. Lube all of your uh, ratchet binders every time you use them. It will save you a lot of headache because sometimes they just don't want to move. You put that PB Blaster on there. It'll, uh, it'll loom up real good. Here's our utility lights right there. Got one over there too. Keep in mind, this is just how I've got my truck set up. Uh, whenever I was looking for truck tour videos, not just with rail, with any company, nobody really had anything online. Um, Cause I like everything organized. Uh, and it's nice to have little tips on where to put everything, uh, especially starting out, never been in the industry before in such a confined space to make it work. It's nice to have little tips. So I figured I'd make a little video of mine and my truck may be a little bougie. I don't care. We're in here 24 hours a day. I want to be comfortable. So here we go. In my driver's side door pocket. Uh, Got a little multi-tool, a knife. Yes, I carry a knife. Uh, flashlight. Use your flashlight like on your pre-trip, folks. Check that kingpin every time you get out of the truck. Fuel stops, safety checks, rest stops, terminals, wherever. Load shippers, receivers, whatever. Because that one time you don't check, that crazy person gonna come around and uh, pull your kingpin, and you're gonna drop your trailer. And then everybody gonna be mad at you. This guy right here, I keep all my trip paperwork in. Uh, clipboard for the current trip, which is right there. Um, and then this big pockets for completed trips. Uh, just keep, keep everything organized. Keep it in the pocket or your door pocket. That way if DOT pulls you over, all they gotta do is open your door, grab your stuff, and they know what you got. Um, I don't need to tell y'all what a cup holder is. <laughs> Up here, keep my little tooth floss things. I would recommend getting you a wallet similar to this to hold all of your rewards cards, um, any security cards you get from like Steel Dynamics or Charter Steel. Uh, got my EFS card right there for fuel. 
this just comes in handy keeps them organized I keep my medical card in it my passport in it uh, insurance cards and business cards for our uh, upper management colleagues in case for whatever reason I need to get a hold of them I got this on Etsy for 20 30 bucks real leather and it's very good quality got it from some chick in the Ukraine great work though I've also got a journal up there that I use for taking notes and stuff over there we got my notepad and everything oh let's talk about the floor I got some floor mats I also got some of that uh, rubber padding it's like 24 by 24 inch squares from Lowe's the reason I did that because I like to be comfortable so I added an extra layer of padding on the on the floor um, it's just in this middle section but see how I got these floor mats situated like this. Shoes do not pass this line right here. So shoes don't go in this area or right there. And same thing back here. Bare feet and socks only right here and right here. Because some of the stuff we walk through is pretty nasty. Especially at them truck stops. All the, man, them fools, urine on the ground, trash, oil, diesel. I don't want to be walking through that at night whenever uh, I'm trying to rest. So, I just clean these floor mats too so I can touch them. Keep my shoes over there. Let's see, we need some lights in here. Turn the lights on. Um, That radio right there. If you're jamming out riding down the road, remember to turn it down before you turn the truck off. Because every time you crank it, it comes on that weather channel. And if you were listening to your music loud... It is going to scare you. So remember, turn that down. Um, I keep all my shoes over there that I'm not wearing. This cabinet, I got like spare Velcro, my Xbox controllers. Let me get my flashlight. All right. Yeah, Xbox controllers. You can see them now. Uh, I keep them there just because I haven't really came up with a place to put them yet. Up top. Got my hard hat tucked in the corner over there. This is my fruit cabinet. Eat your fruit, people. It's good for you. Um, I literally eat constantly all day long, whether it be fruit, protein bars, or what. I, I just I eat and eat and eat, and somehow I'm still losing weight. This is my permit book. Um, I keep it closed for DOT to have access to it. Got some extra trash bags up here. Some wet wipes. These are your friends. Get the flushable kind. Um, use them for those days that uh, you don't have access to a shower. Which, let's talk about that for a minute. I'm going to say it. Yes, I'm going to say it. There is absolutely no reason, well, like a 1% one, one or 2% exception, uh, that you shouldn't be able to find a place to take a shower every day. I take two showers a day. There's been... Not even a handful of times in the past two months that I haven't been able to find somewhere to take a shower twice a day. Uh, once in the morning, once at night. That's just my routine. That's what I do. Um, in the beginning, it's a struggle because you gotta you got to actually figure out how to plan your trip. Um, it takes like a week to figure that out, though. Uh, but yeah, use those, use those wet wipes. Think of it like this. Even use them when you go into the bathroom. Just toilet paper doesn't work because you got poop on any other part of your body. Would you only use toilet paper to wipe it off? You wouldn't, would you? Okay, get your wet wipes. Use them. I don't care. Some people need to hear that. All right, up here, I keep some extra napkins. Uh, my Cohibas. I like my cigars every now and then. These is, this is just uh, stuff to clean my sunglasses. A cigar cutter in there. Safety glasses. I keep my safety glasses right here. But, so they're going to issue you some of these. These are painful. They hurt. They fog up. They they hurt. Um, so I got these at Home Depot. $9. They're Milwaukee. I ordered some more on Amazon too. Not, not that kind. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead and get you some safety glasses like day one. It is worth the $10. Lotion. For some reason, there's like negative humidity up here in Geary. And every 
my hands like dry out instantaneous. It's like as soon as I pull up in the terminal, they dry out. Trusty shower bag, I keep that there. Um, extra trash bags. Those are just Walmart and Kroger bags and stuff. Cleaning supplies up in here. Laundry detergent too. Um, dryer sheets. Yeah, I don't need to explain what cleaning supplies are. Now the fun stuff. We'll talk about a TV in a minute. Um, this is where I keep all my food. Get you some of these baskets. Uh, because at some point driving down the road, everything will be flying in the air. That's just the suspension on these trucks. It happens. Uh, so the better you can secure stuff, even in these cabinets, the better your life will be. Because before I had these baskets, see how it looks all neat and everything? It was just like a crumpled mess. It was, it was crazy. Got my coffee, got my tea, my pistachios. If you're not allergic to nuts, get some of them. They are super healthy for you. You can eat them all day and it fills you up. Um, my book bag's out there, but when I'm driving down the road, it goes down here. We'll talk about water in a second. Um, I usually hang my trash bags right there. Got me a chair for when I just want to sit outside the truck and take a break for a minute. I keep that uh, Tupperware thing right there full of water for when I'm driving down the road. My arms are long enough to where I can grab one, still not lose my line of sight from my mirrors to the front of the truck or anything really. Um, so it's safe. But if you have short arms, maybe move it over here or something. I don't know. And what is this? Anybody know what that is? I think it's a cup holder. I use it as a cup holder. It looks like something important goes in it. I can't take it out. I tried. The screw heads are all rusted out and everything. I'd really like to know what that thing's purpose actually is. I keep my steel toes over there. Out of the way, I put some uh, coat hangers up behind the driver's seat just for my high visibility stuff. That's a rain jacket right there. Um, fridge. Got a freezer on the top, refrigerator on the bottom. I like my hot sauce. Look at that big old bottle. Whoo! I, I want to drink something right now. And so I had this idea to purchase a magnet from every state that I stop at. And eventually, I would have a decent sized map. But the problem is, whoever made these magnets, who made these things? What does that say? It won't focus on it. Oh, it did. State stuff. Y'all suck at your scale sizes. Don't none of this fit together right. Why didn't you make a map cut out the little pieces so you could actually fit them together they're not just sitting there crooked y'all they don't fit together so I don't know I gotta figure out something with that um these are my ice cleats snow cleats whatever you want to call them luckily I hadn't had to break them out yet here's my super fluffy uh rug that I got from Lowe's over here um, yes, I love my Laffy Taffy. I kind of want to eat some right now. I'm going to some plates, get you one of these things. Um, have a little medicine cabinet here, utensils here. Oh, what is in there? That's a meat thermometer. Yeah, I cook big pieces of meat on the road sometimes. That's a uh, little Tupperware stuff for extra food when I'm done. Um, here is the bed. I am six foot three and I have plenty of room at night and my feet do not hang over that side. Uh, just in case there's any big people wondering. Yeah, I'm six foot three and I have plenty of room. I got a, I would recommend doing this. I got a two inch foam pillow topper from Walmart. I think it was 50 bucks. Oh my God, it was so worth it. It's, it's like sleeping on a cloud. I'm, I'm, I'm going to add a pillow top to it. That is a memory foam. Uh, water. 
stay hydrated on the road, even during the winter months, especially during the winter months because it's cold outside, you get inside, you're warm, you're not really thirsty, but you can still dehydrate really quick. Drink your water. The reason I got several different kinds, uh, purified water really doesn't do a whole lot for you. So when I'm lucky, I get the Icelandic spring water because it's artesian. So it's got electrolytes and minerals, all that fun stuff in it, and it has a high pH. So when I can't find it, I get Fiji or Evian or something. Um, this is spring water, the Evian is, but it has a neutral pH. So I get the body armor water. Um, see that right there, pH 9 plus. And at some point throughout the day, I consume a mixture of all three. I know, I'm weird, I don't care. It's how I roll though. Um, the refrigerator, securing it. Started with these, uh, the truck comes with these black straps. God, they don't hold nothing down. They'll keep it, they'll keep it in this general vicinity. But some of the roads we ride on, the truck is just bouncing everywhere. So, what did I do? Being a flat better, I secured it good. So I added these ratchet straps. Um, I got them from Walmart for $2 a piece, $3 a piece. They don't move, or it don't, it don't move, excuse me, talking gibberish this morning, see? I'm shaking it right now. It don't move at all. I did that a month ago, and it is still in its same place. Um, got the Xbox hooked up to the TV. Got the Keurig. $90 investment, completely worth it. I had a regular coffee maker in here and emptying out the rinds and adding the coffee every morning i was over it after the first day actually i think it was the second day um but yeah if you like your coffee in the morning i would strongly suggest that slimline keurig see how wide it is <clears throat> oh this fridge uh i think it was two i paid 210 220 after taxes um at love lowe's i had bought one from walmart but it had came up to here and I had no room for my coffee maker and it was 180 bucks after taxes and it was 4.4 .4 cubic foot this is 3.2 cubic foot so you got a one cubic foot uh, freezer 2.2 uh, 2.3 cubic foot refrigerator but I can't talk um, that's plenty of room I, I just went grocery shopping yesterday and I think I got enough food for two weeks between that and the upper compartment um the tv 24 inch vizio uh smart tv <clears throat> let's talk about this for a second this is one of the cool things about rail you see this terminal right here see that's the main terminal you see how far apart far away i'm parked see all these trucks right here see all of them so pretty much this row this row the other side of the building see all them trucks these right here, all these guys right here, we all have Wi-Fi from that building. I think that's pretty awesome. So this TV has Wi-Fi. Um, it moves around. I got a swivel for it. What I do at night, I keep it right here, pointed at the TV, pointed at the TV, pointed at the bed. Um, if I'm at a shipper or receiver, uh, I move it to the front when I'm sitting in the driver's seat. That way I can watch TV while I'm waiting. TV was 140 bucks, 150 bucks from Amazon. Totally worth it. Again, 24 inch. Uh, it's got a smart cast thing, so you can use Google Chromecast. Uh, it's got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Apple Air TV, whatever that is. Um, it's got everything on it. Last night, I went and bought this uh, antenna from Walmart for 20 bucks. There is an antenna on the truck. I didn't follow the wire to see where it went. Um, but I only had like four channels with it. So I went and bought that for 20 I figured 20 bucks, it ain't gonna matter. I now have over 65 channels from just local air. Um, this wall mount, I think it was, I think it was 20 bucks, 30 bucks from Amazon. Um, the TV can swivel. It tilts up and down 15 degrees. 
I made a little mount from from Lowe's. Uh, it's just two L brackets on this side, two straight brackets on this side, uh, bolted together. I have had this in here like this for two weeks, and it has not moved um, at all. Knock on wood. Uh, microwave. That's a. Uh, you know, I don't remember if I paid thirty dollars or fifty dollars. I got it from Walmart though. It's great. There's a little strap in here for it. Um, and actually, this is one of the one things in the truck that if it's not strapped down, it's still not going anywhere. I don't understand those physics, but that's just the way it works. Let me get this TV back out of the way. Um, let's see. It's right here. I got hang-up clothes in here. Yes, I've got a suit or two in there because you never know when you're going to need a good suit. Um, down here... Keep my laptop. Get you some of this. Our feet sweat. Um, I spray it in my boots after I use them every time. Just to keep the smell down, keep the moisture out of them. Uh, that's my deodorant. For some reason, up north, they don't sell that deodorant. I don't know why. So every time I go home, I get extra. Down there is, uh, you got a vent for the APU. Um, let's talk about outlets. You got two outlets right here. Two outlets behind the fridge, two outlets behind the microwave. Then I've actually got a power strip back here. Uh, this bed lifts up. I'll show you what's up under there real quick. All right, so up under the bunk, um, this is the driver's side stuff over here. Fire extinguisher, your triangles, um, extra oil, Extra coolant, my ice scraper, broom and a dustpan. That air hose right there, I've got a blow nozzle on it that I can hook to the glad hands to help for cleaning in here. And then I got another attachment uh, where I can add air to the tires if I need to. Then here in the middle, I've got uh, 10 sets of snow chains. Luckily, I haven't had to use them yet. And on top of the snow chains, I actually keep an extra, or keep extra luggage bags in here um, just in case I need to go somewhere on a reset like I'm doing today I'm gonna go to Chicago tonight uh, on top of the snow chains I uh, keep all my extra pairs of shoes I like my shoes yes those are wrapped in shower caps it's to protect my shoes I like my shoes um, that and I don't want the bottom of my soles touching all my stuff so, and then I got extra ones I need them. I think I got like a million for five dollars on Amazon. Then over here, I got my edge protection tool tool bag, some rope, more edge protection. That's my strap winder. All right, up top, um, over there, I got a huge parka because it gets freezing up here sometimes. And that that thing's a lifesaver. Uh, I got more jackets up under it. I got these bins right here at low, yeah, Lowe's for, they were 12 or $13 a piece. Um, but I keep all my work clothes, socks, underwear, shirts, hoodies up there. Dirty clothes basket right there, obviously. Um, I just changed my bed sheets. By the way, I would keep um, two sets of linens while you're in here. For that one day that you're not able to make it take a shower and you just kind of dirt dirty that way you ain't uh you ain't screwed out on the road i left the strap up there how about that i need to get that thing back now um yeah that way you're not screwed on the road sleeping in dirty bed sheets every night it's gross and back behind that i have a small george foreman grill that i have not used yet and i keep my sleeping bag in here too just in case the APU goes out and I don't have heat, I can put it on top of this and try to stay warm. Oh yeah, make, make your bed every day when you wake up too. Get structure to your life. Life pro tip there. Oh yeah, some of y'all might not know this. So up under here, I just found this out last night. See that little white dot? You press it and you got another light. How about that? How about that? Same thing over here, another reading light. Um, 
We'll use it to show you the APU. So that's all your lights. You can control all your lights back here. You can mute the stereo. You got a little cubby hole. Ew, I need to clean that out. The guy that had this before me had a dog, and there's freaking dog hair everywhere. I've cleaned this truck like three times, and dog hair still comes out somewhere. Um, this thing's pretty neat, though, so you can turn it off. I don't know if y'all heard that turn off or not. But to turn it back on, you just adjust your fan, push it in, that little park light will come on. And then you can adjust it to cold or hot or whatever. And this thing will keep you uh, cold in the summer and hot during the winter. Um, and then, yeah, you can control all your lights back here too. I've got... Uh... So this is what happened. I put this pop socket holder on there for my phone hook it up there that way it's easily accessible at night um why i don't use that little cubby hole i don't know that is beyond me but i'm weird so uh but yeah i woke up one night thrashing around for some reason and i knocked my phone off of here that turned into me not hearing my alarm waking up luckily i wasn't late for my load or anything so my i had the charger plugged into it and my arm had gotten wrapped around the charger and that's what yanked it off and all that fun stuff so i got these little command things keep the wire away from my crazy dreams at night and i haven't had problems since got this little guy that pulls out oh my god that's nasty too Ugh. i will be cleaning after i edit this video uh i was trying to think of what else we got in here i think that's pretty much it guys There's our lights up there. Hmm. I could probably add that I've got this. I use the, the L bracket stick out a little bit. So I use that as a hoodie holder, jacket holder, or whatever. And then I got a little hook for my uh, hats. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I've also got that little pop socket holder right there. Uh, that, that holds my phone most of the time driving down the road. If I don't use that, I use this guy, uh, and just in case I need to use trucker's path for directions or whatever, that way it's right in front of me because Copilot and I don't always get along. If you're wondering what Copilot is, it's that guy right there. That is our GPS system for the truck. Um, I'll show you my route for the, for tomorrow. Come on, baby. There she is. I got me a little ride to go. Uh, but yeah, so that's my truck, guys. That's my truck, guys and gals. So if any of y'all got any questions, because uh, I've already gotten several questions, actually, from my other videos uh, about how I set up my truck, um, leave a comment on here. Send me an email at uh, bishoptaylortrucking at gmail.com. And I will, I, I've actually been carrying on several conversations with several of y'all. And I'm, I like to think that I'm pretty good at getting back to you in a timely manner. Um, if I don't, it's because I'm driving down the road uh, or I'm eating or taking a shower or something. I don't know. But yeah, I like to think that I get back to everybody pretty quick. Uh, so. Yeah, if y'all got any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll, I'll respond as soon as I can. Also, you know, I got to say it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that glorious stuff. Uh, if you are a new driver or an experienced driver and you're interested in coming to rail, you can reach out to me too. If you reach out to recruiting, um, mention this channel, The Bishop Taylor mention my name Olin Taylor or mention my driver code T-A-Y-O or truck number 6072 and I will greatly appreciate it um yeah rail is still a great company to work for I say still this place has been open forever and everybody's happy like literally everybody's happy it's, it's still it, it still amazes me anyway uh, next video, unless I meet another super trucker, will be about how I get paid. Uh, 
I'm still at the starting rate for flatbedders right now, which is 42 and a half cent per mile. Plus all our tarpon fees and detention pay and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm actually going to show you my check stubs from day one. Because, uh, you know, we're not in here in here for free. We want to know how much money we make. So, I'll uh, full transparency, I'll let you guys know. Um, so, stay tuned. I had something else I wanted to say, too. Can't remember what it was. Hmm. Anyway, y'all enjoy your weekend.